On an occasion, it was said to Abdul Wahid, Sahibul Hassan. Abdul Wahid, who was the companion of Hassan al Basri, it was said to him, "Ayu shayin balag al Hassan fiqum ila ma balag, wa kana fiqum ulama wa fuqaha." He said, "How did Hassan al Basri reach the station that he has amongst you? How did he reach this station? Yet you have ulama amongst you, you have fuqaha." People of knowledge amongst you. So listen to what he said. فَقَالْ إِنْ شِئْتَ عَرَفْتُكَ بِوَاحِدَةً If you want, I will tell you about one thing. I will let you know about one thing. أَوْ إِثْنَتَيْنَ Or two. So there are two particular things or there is one. Which one you want to know? So, فَقُلْتُ عَرَّفَنِي بِالْإِثْنَتَيْنِ Let me know about two. Now listen to this, subhanAllah. Look, this is a description. If people was to describe us, what kind of description would we receive? Allahumma sta'an. But listen, or shall we say, if we were gone, how would we be remembered? So, he informs him. Of how he was, how he reached his station. قال كان إذا أمر بشيء أعمل الناس به. Hassan al Basri was the type of individual that if he commanded you with something, that command was not from himself, was command from the Quran and the Sunnah. طيب. If he was an individual that commanded you with a particular thing, then he would be the one that would act upon that command the most. Anything he commanded and ordered, he would be the one that acted upon it the most. وَإِذَا نَهَا عَنْ شَيْءٍ أَتْرَكَ النَّاسِ لَهُ And if he was a person that forbade you to do a particular thing, then he would be the one that would abstain from that thing the most. Leading by example. Leading by example. How can we be of individuals that command and we don't do it ourselves? This is our shortcomings. May Allah forgive us. How can we pro, pro, prohibit a particular thing and then we, in our enclosed doors or in our privacy, are falling into that same particular thing that we are telling others not to do? There will be no tawfiq for us and no tawfiq for our communities. This is what made those communities. This is what made those great imams. Then the individual said, فَمَا الْوَاحِدَةً So if it wasn't the two and it was just one that you was going to mention about him, then what was, the, what was that one thing? قَالْ لَمْ أَرَى أَحَدًا قَطْ سَرِيرَتُهُ أَشْبَعُهُ بِعَلَانِيَتِهِ مِنْهُ He said, I have not seen anyone whose secret affairs, what he does in private, are Similar and the same as his public affairs. I have never seen no one whose private affairs are exactly the same as what he does in public. So that goes to show you, and that's what the Salaf they used to say, that if you're in a constant engagement in fighting yourself to do better, one of the ways to measure it is, look at what you like in private. How are you in private? If how you are in public is how you are in private, then that's a good sign. But if you're a certain way in public in front of people and acting in a certain way and holding yourself and being respectful and being righteous and trying your best because you feel the, you, you fear the blame of the people. But when you're in privacy, you're totally contrary and opposite to that, bad sign. So if you want to measure yourself, Measure it with that. And that is from the golden rules. A golden principle that is. That we try to rectify our private way. So it's the same as, as we are in public. Or even better. Bell. So this is what made and gave him that great station from the asbab and from the means.